Hi friends, it's Cheryl from the Lifestyle Digs, and today is Potty Talk Day. When I was walking the community of Santiago, I posted updates on social media, and friends were asking me, where do you go to the bathroom? And that's a fair question, and that is something that a lot of pilgrims wonder about before they start walking on their first Camino. So it is the north of Spain, where the Camino de Santiago is located, is not like North America. If nature calls for us, we can probably find a shopping mall, a gas station, Walmart, Home Depot, a library, uh, e even our local parks, a lot of them have restroom facilities. But this is not the same thing in Spain, especially not in the north of Spain, where it's just a bunch of small villages that might not have any type of facilities at all. And uh, some of the larger places might have um, uh, fast food restaurants, but uh, you won't see, uh, if you see parks, you'll see a lot of parks uh, on the Camino, but you won't see any restroom facilities. I think the only time I even saw porta potties anywhere, it was just before I, I was just leaving Pamplona, I was walking up the big hill to the Alto del Pardon, where the Pilgrim Monument is, and I did see, I can't remember if it was one or two porta potties, and there was a big lineup of pilgrims outside there. I kept walking. So, what do you do? Okay, before you leave your albergue or hotel in the morning, go to the bathroom. Sounds simple enough. A lot of people just leave. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I did. I would leave and I uh, walk for maybe an hour, maybe two hours, and I would stop somewhere for breakfast at a cafe, have coffee con leche, uh, a tortilla, orange juice, whatever I was having that day. And most of the cafes I stopped in did have restroom facilities. And some of them even had um, restroom facilities like you walk around the back of the building so even people that weren't stopping at their cafe could still you know walk around to the back and use the restrooms but for the most part if you're walking inside a cafe it's only polite to buy something uh, either you know a coffee or uh, I don't know a chocolate bar whatever whatever you like so it just seems polite to buy something if you're going to use the restroom facilities so that is the main thing that most people on the Camino de Santiago do they just stop at a cafe along the way and use them but I also see a lot of cafes specifically have signs out in their windows that say restroom facilities only for our customers and there was one uh, restaurant that I was in I was actually stopped there and had lunch and they had a sign on the door that, uh, again, uh, for the use of uh, their customers only, but they would also charge you, I think it was like 50 centavos, uh, half a euro, if uh, you just wanted to come in and use the facilities. And I guess that's fair enough, but for the most part, I didn't see any washrooms anywhere in Spain that charge you to use the facilities. So. The other thing that pilgrims do when they get kind of desperate, you're walking along this big dusty trail or you're out in the wilderness and you have to go. So you look for a tree, you look for a big stone, anything to kind of duck behind and take care of business. And sure enough, I did see a few pilgrims doing that. They would walk off the path and go somewhere and then they'd come back on the path again. I was walking one day and it was, um, it was not a place where there were a lot of trees. In fact, I could see way off in the distance a big tree. And it was a hot day. It was very hot when I was walking the Camino. So I finally got to that tree and I stopped to get some shade and have some water and a snack. And while I was there, my hiking stick dropped. And unfortunately, it don't want to tell you what it dropped in. Just use your imagination. That was pretty disgusting. I also kept... Um, you know, little wipes <laughs> inside my backpack so I was able to clean off my walking stick. But that, that's something that you should definitely carry in your in your uh, backpack is uh, some kind of wipes uh, in case you do have to take care of business on the trail. And if you're going to do that, you know, more, more experienced pilgrims say, well, take a baggie or, or a, a little spade with you to, to bury it, or the baggie to you know, the plastic bag to take it with you and drop it in a garbage can. But most people aren't doing that. And the other gross thing is that you will see toilet paper or the um, these little wipes pads, you know, they, they're just littered all over the trails too. 
So those are the, about the only things you can do on the Camino is uh, go before you leave your hotel or albergue in the morning, when you stop to have a, a little break at the cafe, use the facilities there. And I never had to, you know, duck off <laughs> behind a tree or anything, but I'm kind of like a camel, I guess. So, uh, and, and also when I started walking in, in Spain, I was September 20th, uh, I left St. John Pied de Port. I arrived in Santiago on October 27th. So I was on the trail for 37 days, including a couple of rest days. And it didn't get light in the morning till about 8.30. So I'd be walking, it'd be quite dark. So really anybody could kind of easily go off into the darkness behind a fence or whatever. And I wouldn't know what they were doing because, you know, it's so dark. Well, I had a headlamp on, but so those are your options. Go before you leave on the walk for the day, stop at a cafe, use the facilities, and stop at another cafe if you need to, and then just try to hold it in until you get to where you're staying for the night. Sorry, I can't be more helpful, but really you're not going to find any public restroom facilities along the Camino de Santiago in Spain. So I hope this helps a bit. It's Cheryl from Lifestyle Digs. Thanks for watching today. Bye for now.